What's up, man? 25 Gamers, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are talking about the Arizona playbook a little bit more. We're starting our five set uh, for success series out of it, and today's set for success uh, is the base play. We're talking all about curl flats, why we like curl flats, and uh, why it's one of the best base plays in the game. Some additional adjustments that can help this play really become a monster. Um, so we like to go over to the shotgun spread formation and we like to select the play curl flats and get some uh, quick adjustments in here for my uh, players and then we'll get going. Uh, but we like to select, uh, since we don't have to select play curl flats because it's a quick audible, we like to come out in the zone of shallow or wide receiver shallow. Uh, but we, we are going to run curl flats as our base play. That's the base play. That's the play for this offense. And uh, what we like to do is we like to place the slot receiver on the right side um, on a smart routed in route, as you can see here. We like to place Des Bryant on a in route, just a regular in route, and we're basically creating a levels concept. And then we like to place Miles Austin on a smart routed out route, and you see how this play works now. This is the setup that we have. And what we're going to do is we're going to motion snap Williams half a step to the inside. So as soon as he turns, we're going to snap. And you see that he's going to be our first read there against a too high safety look, especially against man coverage, uh, because we've just turned him into an unbumpable pattern. And uh, that's going to be the key read against a, a too high safety look, uh, such as this. We like to pass it that in route upfield, and uh, we like to bullet pass it so it gets a nicer animation. Uh, but that is the first read on this play. Um, once we see that that in route is covered, then we're going to check down to the Angle right out of the backfield, especially against man. It does a pretty good job uh, at beating man-to-man -man defense, especially with the timing of the whole play uh, in a press scenario. Our um, third read on this play is going to be, especially against too high look, is going to be that later in route coming across the middle of the formation, does Bryant. As you see, he beats man-to-man -man as well, uh, but it is a little later in the progression. Okay, and then our fourth read is going to be our deep out on the left side of the field. As you see it, pass lead it to the outside. Does a very good job at beating man coverage and uh, giving us that opportunity right there. Okay, guys, it gets zone coverage, so they can call a cover two or cover two sink from that same look. And against zone coverage, we are going to run the same exact setup, but we're going to use it to beat the zone as well. And it's the same read against the cover two. You see that that in route does a pretty good job at sitting in the zone. If we pass lead it up, like I said at the beginning, uh, it does a really good job of beating zone coverage. Um, another thing that we can do to beat zone coverage with this play is there our second read as well. Our route to Murray out of the backfield here. You see it does a good job at beating cover two as well. And then even our third read uh, also beats the cover two. Uh, the delayed in route to or the smaller in route to Des Bryant here, you'll see uh, if we wait a little bit, kind of wait, 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 and then pass lead that inside, uh, you see it does a pretty good job of beating the cover two as well. And then the other route that I like to use to beat cover two on the left side, especially cover two sink, if for some reason I miss, completely make a bad read, uh, then I'll sit and wait, and I mainly just hit those in routes. And that's what the levels is for, to beat the cover two side of the formation. Now what if they are in a stock cover two and not just a cover two sink? Well, it's the same progression, it's the same reads, everything is the same, nothing changes. Um, the only thing that changes is there's one additional receiver that will get open against the cover two in combination with the other uh, three receivers that are going to get open against cover two. So as we see here, um, Des Bryant, or excuse me, DeMarco Murray is also going to get open against the regular cover two. Then we also have that read over the middle to uh, Des Bryant on the delayed in route. All of that's going to work against the standard cover two. But the problem with the Des Bryant read is it takes a lot longer to develop against a stock cover two. But that's the purpose of DeMarco Murray's route. It gives us a quicker valve. A, a quicker option against a standard cover two because we don't like the the, the delay bump that they're going to get out of that cover two. They're going to hold Bryant and then they're going to kind of follow him. But you see he does get open later on in the progression. But like I said, you don't want to hit that unless it's absolutely necessary. And it's only absolutely going to be necessary if they're running some kind of max coverage defense.
Another popular defense is the cover three. So we like to have something that beats the cover two on one side and the cover three on the other side. Well, as you can see here, this time our in route is going to get pressed, but we can hit Miles Austin on that deep out route. And you see how that worked right there. Um, if that route gets bumped, we like to quickly, first of all, we like to quickly look at the safeties post snap anyway. But especially, so we're going to look at the safeties. We see that there's only three high. Then we're going to look to that flat, and you see it's going to get pressed, and then we're going to hit that curl flat read. And that's kind of how that works. Um, it really is pretty simple. As far as uh, the levels concept, and we can just take a look here, what's going to happen after the bump is you see that um, there really isn't a whole lot of opening with that levels because um, of the way that those yellow zones are going to play in a cover three is different than the way that they're going to play in like a cover two uh, because they're playing off of all the other zones on the field. So here again, we'll take a look at this. And you see Des Bryant's route does get open, but it is very late in the progression again. And uh, that's why we like to have that curl flat quick, easy, simple way to beat cover three. Now, uh, another thing that some people like to do is they like to put these flat zones in purple zones. And this is going to open up a little bit more of an option for us because they're not going to get that press on the outside. Uh, first and foremost, you can hit the flat route and take a quick, uh, an easy five or six yards. Now, another thing that I like to do um, is put maybe Cole Beasley on that hitch route. And it's for situations like this um, because if they purple zone those guys, sometimes that flat route won't be as open. But the hitch route is going to be wide open. As you see, it's going to sit right in the zone. And it's still going to serve the same purpose, uh, but it's going to be a little bit more effective in the long run. So let's take a look at this against just a red.